Hi there and welcome back. Let us do this example here of ones and zeros. So the first example, I'm going to assign a variable P and we are going to create a matrix of ones. So we are going to say P is equals to ones bracket two comma four. So we just said we want two rows and four columns of just ones. If you run your file, you will see that you have a matrix of two rows and four columns. We can also be, we, out of curiosity, we can add an extra row and we can make it more interesting. We can say starting from 12 all the way to three with a spacing of minus three. So we should have a matrix now with three rows and as you can see everything looks great now let us look at another example we can now assign a variable q and here we are going to incorporate both ones and zeros so first up let us say ones the first two rows you will see that you just have two rows and four columns like above but this time now use a semicolon to create another row and you'll notice this will be our third row now for the third row we want the first two digits to be ones and two columns the first row we are going to say one comma two which means we want the first two digits to be one on the third row and two columns spacing zeros now we are going to put bracket one comma two we are saying that for the third and fourth digits it's going to be zeros within the same row but only two zeros i really hope this makes sense it's quite tricky but if you do it yourself you understand if you run your file and go to command windows you can get a hang of what we are trying to design here you can also build up add more ones and zeros just to see what octave will do for you you can calculate the size to see what you are also dealing with i really hope this makes sense thank you so much for watching